Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, Hidden Tax. That quest starts right here and we're going to fast travel to here. She usually says more. Will not you accompany me? Sekhmet favors the generous. The desperate are so rarely polite. Medjai, help me, I will pay you. What do you need? Last night, my dear husband Claudius took a boat out to see the ruins across the lake. He has not returned. None of these brutes honor a wife's pain. I beg you! I will seek him out. Do be quick. I will await you here. New quest, hidden tax. A woman is begging passersby to help search for her husband, Claudius who never returned from a trip across Lake Mariotis. A woman by the lakeside is begging passersby to help search for her husband, Claudios, who was last seen taking a boat towards the ruins on Lake Mariotis. The reward is 600 experience, and our objective is to find Claudios, the missing husband. Okay, so these are crocodile-infested waters, so I highly suggest you take a boat over. Swimming with the crocodiles, not really a good idea. Now the boat doesn't make you completely safe. They can attack the boat and if they do enough damage, you'll end up capsized. But if you use R2 to go fast, they shouldn't be able to do that. Right. Let's call out Sinu. And he is right there. So before we go talk to him, let's do the objectives on this island. So I think we'll get off right here. Oh, there's something in there. Uh, what is that? I have no idea. An ibis beak. Symbol of the crescent moon, used to represent Thoth in rituals. Okay, so our objectives here are to loot the two treasures. Now this treasure took me a little while to both find and figure out how to get inside. So the treasure's below. Standing or jumping on this does nothing. What you need to do is light it on fire with the fire bombs. Now there may be other ways to get through this, but this is the only way that I found that works. So switch to the fire bombs. Whoops. Uh, pull out a fire bomb and just throw it right on the wood. Right there will work. And we're in. And uh, I'm also going to switch back to the sleep darts before I forget. Because outside of burning things, the firebombs have been completely worthless for me. But it got me in here, so at least I didn't waste my point. And there is our first treasure, a purple sickle sword. All right, and the second treasure is among all of those uh, marks over there. It's a crocodile tent area. A camp that was overrun by crocodiles. Um, there's only two right there. That's not too bad. Maybe I should sleep dart one of them. Actually, he looks like he's going back into the water. 
Um, so as far as I can tell, you cannot sneak attack a crocodile. They see you every time you get close. So there's no point in me trying to sneak in, really. I'm just going to wait for those. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I'm going to wait for those to disperse a little bit. But they didn't quite do that. Perhaps I should just run in. Right, actually, you know what we'll do? We're going to sleep dart him and fight this one. Now, with the crocodiles, that lunge attack he just did, you can dodge that, or you can block that, rather. Um, but the tail sweep, you cannot block. It'll hit you uh, for some damage, blocking or not. Blocking will reduce the damage, but uh, he'll still hit you. But the lunge, you can block that. Also, after they tail swipe, they usually don't do anything for a few seconds, so you can just sort of wail on them. And my overpower is ready. I think I'm going to use it on him. Oh, got me with that tail sweep. Not that time. <laughs> right, he's gone. We'll just slash away at this one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, here, another one. But I don't see another one. Ooh, crafting available. Okay. Let's check that out. We can increase my health by improving my breastplate. Let's do it. Oh, there's that croc. I knew I heard one. Are you just gonna run away? Oh, never mind. He's coming in. Ha <laughs> ha! Dodge that. Getting pretty good with the dodges. You can also dodge in and attack, which is really good. Oh, but I just dodged right into that dude's mouth. Ah, I didn't block that. Oh my god, what am I doing? Let's just overpower. That's one thing. Ow, my god, that guy keeps hitting me. Um, that's one thing I need to use more often is the overpower. It becomes available really quick. And it's super ridiculously powerful, so... I should be taking more advantage of that. Or taking advantage of that more often, I should say. Alright, and here is our second treasure. And that completes the island. 150 experience. Well, I guess it's technically a crypt, but we're on an island. Expedition notes, day one. We finally set up camp. We have enough food and materials to last us a few days. Tomorrow, we start searching the ruins. There's sure to be an undiscovered part to this old temple. Earlier, I heard something rustle in the reeds. Painedjim says it's nothing. I hope he's right. Day two, nothing written. Well, I think we know what happened. It's a difficult mystery, but I think I've solved it. Oh, got one of those legendary uh, necklace trinkets. Very nice. Well, I suppose we should go save Claudius. Well, I just kind of gave it away, but... Find him, I mean, but he needs a little bit of help. Let me be. Me in peace. <clears throat> and here is Claudius. Okay, kill the crocodiles threatening Claudios. And definitely do not fight them in the water. That is a terrible idea. They will destroy you. I like to shoot them from safety. Over here on the rocks. And you want to hit them right above the head. Or in the mouth. Either of those is very good. Oh, missed that shot. Crocodiles are dead. Now to speak to Claudius and find out why he came out here. That's interesting. There's usually like three at least. But whatever. If I only have to kill one, that works for me. Oh, I never did see what those crocodile things are. Those are crocodile eggs. Can be used to treat a number of ailments and conditions. Really? Okay. Uh, hatchet. I think I saw that before. 
Anyways, we got some treasure underwater. Another sickle sword. Okay, and before we go and speak to Claudios, let's go do the sink point up there. Because otherwise I'll probably forget. I need to bust that out now and get the fast travel back to this place. And you can see there's a quest there, but that's a high level quest. It's like level 17 or something like that. So we'll do that a little bit later. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Level 9, got a new ability point. I know exactly what I want for once. I want Overpower Ultra. It's a passive. It doubles the damage of your Overpower ability. Definitely want. Although I don't know if it actually works for the Sickle Sword, because the Sickle Sword, you just sort of get crazy attack speed and slash the crap out of things. So I'm not sure if it works for that, but for everything else it should. Why did you kill them? We had only just met. Claudius, you are drunk. Yes, that is me. And no, I am not. I had only two or ten beers. All right, let's get you back to your wife. I have a wife? Oh, mother will be so pleased. Okay, bring Claudius back to his wife. That dude brought his ship over for us, but I think we'll just take this one over here. I appreciate the kind gesture, though. Uh, Claudius, where you going, dude? Uh, okay. However you want to get here. Alright, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drive this slow because they talk for a bit. What was your reason for going out there, Claudius? I was going... I don't really remember. I came from Alexandria for the festival, and... Some kind of person, someone offered me to drink all night uh, for free. Impossible to res resist. What were we talking about? How you got here. Oh, right. Then I woke up here with those crocodili all around. Tell me, can they really speak? Egypt is a land full of magic and ancient mystery. Amazing. My friends in the city will never believe it. Did you say something about a wife? Uh, yes, yours. See, I do not understand that. How could I have a wife? I am a virgin. At least I think I am. I will hear no more on this subject. You can take it up with your wife. But you do not understand every woman I've ever tried to... Th Please, shut up. Oh, I am sorry. This fresh wind off the river is good for me. I am feeling much more clear-headed now. Splendid. Okay, here we are. Yes. Park it right there next to the dock. Amazing park job. Let's go, dude. We have to go to your wife. There you go. There you are. 
Ah, my dear. I was worried about you. Oh, my dear Nisus. I remember. I went to the island because of her. She... She got me drunk, married me, told me I owed her a virginity tax. Whose virginity? You can go. This is between me and my husband. No, 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 don't, don't go. They'll kill me. Show him what happens when you try to cheat a woman. You're seriously going to attack me with your bare fists. He's just an idiot. They have taken enough from our land. My brothers! You have slain my brothers! You were supposed to help me, not him. Come on. Deal with it, lady. Yeah, you better run. You guys were not very intelligent. I like how everyone's just going about their business like, ah, whatever. He just killed two dudes. Praise and thanks. You saved my life and my purse. In future... Be careful when drinking with strangers. Okay, quest completed. 600 experience. We're about, uh, I don't know, a third of the way through level 9. And we're not done yet. Let's go to a nearby island and clear that out. It's, uh, very close to here. Right there. Huh, what is that? Some sort of like fish trap? It's my best guess. All right, we found Crocodile Lair. And the objective is to kill the animal. It's a giant crocodile. Um, so since I can't really sneak attack, I'll just start killing. Ooh, right in his mouth. Oh, he turned on me. One down. Oh, I walked right into that. Even so, after the tail swipe, they are vulnerable for a bit. He seems to be stunned by that poison off the other crocodile, so I can just tear him up. Let's go into an overpower. We'll just overwhelm this one. He's got nothing. Block that. Slash away. Oh, and there's our target, the big guy. Put a shot. Oh, he ducked. Ah, oh, he and then he opened his mouth and missed another shot. He did that on purpose. Okay, I don't know why that one missed. That one should have been good. Oh, know what he's doing, but I keep missing him somehow. There we go. Oh, I blocked it. I don't know how I didn't get hit. He's like bigger than me. But he's dead. Oh, he's definitely bigger than me. I mean, his mouth is like bigger than me. Uh, there's another croc out there. What if he's gonna leave me alone? I'm cool with him. We got a shield. Fishing supply order. This equipment and merchandise is for Mutnofret and his fishing outfit along the Nile. He is located near a den of crocodiles. Be careful when transporting to ensure the crocodiles do not damage the materials. Or eat you. I'd be a little bit more worried about the eating part. But that's just me. Uh, alright, what do we want to do next? Uh, I could take over that boat. That could be fun. Yeah, let's go do that. They're coming this way. Hopefully there's no crocs in the water. Because I don't have a boat. I think we'll be okay, though. Now, what's cool is that if a local... Boatman sees me they'll sometimes ride over and uh, be an interference 
for me. Yeah, so like this guy just showed up. He's gonna get the attention of the guards on the ship and make it easier for me to get on there. And I think what I'm gonna do, they're usually transporting animals and it looks like this one's doing it as well. Um, I can shoot the cages open and get the animals out to help me. Although they can attack me too, but normally they'll go for the people on the boat. I think that's what I want to do. Hey. Yeah, let's just do that. Make a little chaos. And you can shoot open the cages from the back. Alright, so that should help me. And then I can just go for headshots. I... My camera's just going crazy, though. It's very hard to aim like this. Oh, got him, but not quite a headshot. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap. Uh, well, that's okay. Boss is coming for me. The captain. Come on, buddy. Bring it. Don't you dare hurt my, my lions. It's my friend. There you go. Uh, he's just standing there. Alright, well, I'll slash him up then. If he doesn't want to fight, I'll be happy to end his life. Perry! Yeah! I wasn't trying to. Oh man, he's on fire too. What a way to go. Hey, appreciate the assist, buddy. Oh, look, he's going to give me a right, too. All right, hold on. Let me loot all this stuff, dude. That's a really nice touch. I, I love that the uh, locals are helping me out. Why can't I... Oh, thought I was... thought he had loot. He did not. Well, what's this? That looks like loot. Wait, that's the captain. All right, hold on. Let me carry him. Maybe then I can get it. All right, can I get the loot now? No. What's going on here? Maybe the jars are in the way. I would like my loot. Ah, there we go. Just had to move some stuff. Get... Let go of that. There we go. Hey, it was worth it, too. It was a blue spear. Okay, I think I got everything. Alright, I would like that ride now. And I'm driving. Alright, what else do I want to do? Uh, I could go talk to the, I believe it's a, a daily quest person. Um, however, they don't have a quest for me today. So I don't know what's up with that, but I can still talk to them. And maybe I'll get one tomorrow, I'm not sure. Sorry about the boat. You can, uh, you can send me a bill. I might have done a little bit of damage. Sorry. Dude helps me out and I trash his boat. Let's see, we got uh, an outfitter person over there. That dude's got a side quest, we'll do that later. And this is the person I'm looking for and it's actually a kid. Magi, great warrior, come. I sell you what you want. You need it, I have it. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Redda has your back in these desolate lands. You are but a boy. How did you come by such fine treasure? Plucked from the ancient lands of the desert, the sunken vessels of the Nile, refined by handmaidens of the gods, weapon reforged in Nubian mines, Persian jewels, and Assyrian treasures. I have it all. I see. You are well traveled for such a young man. Old wisdom, Neb. I have acquired from long nights in the desert with my camel. I will see what you have. Come, look around. If you want good Ned, I have other jobs too. Nomad's Bazaar. 
The camel icon shows you Retta the merchant's position. Retta offers a wide variety of very rare goods. Be sure to check with him regularly as his stock changes weekly. Every day, Retta offers a new quest to help someone in need. Succeed before the time runs out and you'll be greatly rewarded for your efforts. And his voice does not fit at all. Uh, anyways, this is his selling booth thing. Uh, right now he's only got two items. He's got carbon crystals, 20 for 3,000 drachma. Oh, and you can... Oh, I think they're 3,000 apiece. Yes, and I actually got one of those already. So, wow, that's worth 3,000. And he also sells a Hecka chest. Contains one random weapon or shield. Opens automatically on purchase. So I'm not going to buy anything at the moment. And as you can see, he's got no quest for whatever reason. So I think uh, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go solve that papyrus puzzle I picked up. And this one actually took me a while. Um, let me uh, show you the puzzle again, just in case you forgot. A few hundred meters northwest of the Temple of Sekhmet in Yamu, which resides by Lake Mariotis, there is a great place to go for a date. Full of palm trees and surrounded by desert, one rock fence was built and closed off with no exit. Find me there. Whoa. So I'll show you where it is. And this one actually took me a while. I thought it'd be northwest of this fast travel point, but that's not the case. This is the temple up here. Northwest of that temple, it's over here. So let's go ahead and mark that. And we'll head over. And I'll just do it manually. I've had some real issues with the uh, autopilot thing around here. It's getting a little dark. I love that. That is so awesome. So you can see there's quite a few palm trees out here. Clearly the location. And surrounded by desert. And there's a little bit of treasure around here, so we'll go pick everything up. Uh, what is that? Some sort of wooden mallet? Wooden mallet. Mallets are a chisel's best friend. Oh, I've got one of those before. I forgot. Got some hard leather. Yeah, just a bunch of drachma. Hey, right, what's that? That is a stone mason's chisel. The sturdy, reliable chisel is one of the most important tools known to civilization. Okay. I think we picked up most of the stuff. We got something right here. Some more drachma. And I'm not seeing any others except for this. All right, so the spot you're looking for, I believe is right here. Yeah, see, there's no exit. The treasure's in here. Oh, nice, a legendary shield. Trophy earned elementary, my dear Bayek. All right, let's check out the goodies. And I got gypped on my practice profile. It gave me a purple one on that. But here, I got a legendary. All right, so gear. Let's do the upgrade first. We're getting a tool pouch upgrade. Increase max tool capacity. So you go from being able to have three sleep darts and three fire bombs to four each. So a very nice upgrade. And Check out some weapons here. We've got the Cannon Knight Blade. 
It's got one bleeding on hit, one adrenaline regeneration. This blade embodies the ferocity and battle for which the Canaanites are known. We'll keep that. And the Battle of Gibeon Blade. An evolution of the agricultural sickle. The cop uh, Kopesh was used by Pharaoh Shashink's infantry in Gibeon. We'll break that down. Uh, Iron Spear. A sharp blade on the end of a long pole. The perfect poking stick. Alright, and then we got some shields. Oh, quite a few. Bronze shield. Uh, I think we had that before. We have the worn shield. One rarely imagines tools of war as relatives, but in this case, the name Grandpa seems appropriate. I think we had that before. Uh, well... This thing has two melee resistance. It's got three damage absorption value. And sleep on block. Hmm. Even future god kings need sturdy, well-balanced protection. Sleep on block is pretty good. Plus, I've already got poison on the sickle. So this is sort of redundant. Damage absorption value is really... I wonder what the difference between damage absorption rate and damage absorption value is. I don't know. Oh, that's why I get so much adrenaline, because the snakes on a shield gives me adrenaline on parry. Or no, that's parry, never mind. Guess adrenaline is just easy to come by. Uh, well, I think I'm going to try this out. That sounds pretty awesome. And I guess I don't really need these anymore. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Dismantle, dismantle. Okay, and that appears to be everything. Oh, and I'm almost level 10. Look at that. Just a sliver. 1,500 or 1,759 out of 1,800. Okay, so we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.